Hi Libras, welcome to Souls Intersect. I have your May of 2016 reading ready. I pulled four cards for you for this month from my Morgan Greer deck. So right off the bat, I'm feeling a lot of fire energy coming from this reading. We have the two wands cards, of course, and they are associated with fire. And then the sun, which itself is fire. And I'm even seeing these wooden stakes in the Hanged Man card as similar to the wands for the purposes of this reading. So really a lot of fire energy. So initially, the, f the first thing I'm hearing is that spiritually this is going to be a really important time for you. As soon as I pulled that Four of Wands card, I heard spiritual home. And so that's a message for some of you. I feel like with the Sun card next to it, there is a coming together with someone. It could, for, for some of you, I think it's definitely a spiritual teacher. That's the strongest message I'm getting. Sometimes when we meet the person who's supposed to be our spiritual teacher, it's really this, it feels like a chance meeting. It can feel kind of random, but usually it's very orchestrated and exactly the right timing, and I do feel like it is the right timing for you. For some of you, it could also be a new friendship or possibly a romantic partner who you've met recently who's inspiring you to pursue your spirituality more. And for some of you, this could be manifesting more in terms of a creative endeavor, which, in my opinion, is inspired by, by spirit, so it's, it's definitely still spirituality. But I feel like it's creative. And if it's not creative in the artistic sense, it could be that it's uh, a charging forward with a lot of a lot of energy and inspiration towards some kind of work that you're doing but I'm definitely getting creativity for a lot of you and spirituality for most of you so it's a time to open up spiritually and I I'm really feeling this homecoming energy so what that might mean is that through learning to practice your spirituality more, you are feeling more at home. But I'm also picking up that literally, for some of you, you could be relocating even just to a new place that is going to nurture your spiritual growth more. Even if it's on your own, it could just be the setting is is better for you. Um, or it could be that you are actually moving in with someone who you plan to meditate with or start some sort of creative endeavor with and even like a commune I'm, I'm getting that kind of energy for someone or some sort of household or large house or a state that has been designed for people who are spiritually like-minded and wanting to pursue that together I'm feeling some, some Buddhist energy coming from that, too. It could just be a place you're visiting as well or associating with. You may not actually be moving there. And it could be that the person you met is, is associated with that or has been in the past. Either way, I'm just getting a lot of comforting, nurturing energy and support from your guides in pursuing and, and growing your spirituality. And the person you're coming together with or the soul, I should say, could also be a guide for some of you. So it could be someone not in spirit form. It could also be someone who passed away recently who's helping you with that from beyond. Looking at the sun card, too, and the creative endeavor, I also I have a message for someone who's working on a master's degree or a Ph.D., although that's something, for the most part, you do solo. There's a really important connection happening probably someone you're actually working with on the project. It could be like an advisor. But I really am getting that it, it might be some sort of collective project towards a master's or PhD, two students even. That's not, not um, a normal thing, but I wonder if that's speaking to someone and I'd be interested to hear from you. But regardless, it's it's going to be a really important month for that and it's going to be a time when there's just bursts of energy and ideas and um, a coming together, putting your heads together and 
designing. I just got the word grand design. I don't know what that's about. But it's a good month for this. I feel like you're going to get a lot of work done and you're going to have a lot of inspiration around it. Okay. So looking at the, the Nine of Wands and the Hanged Man, I feel that for some of you, really getting to that last step, final step of your spiritual growth, and I, I mean, I feel that we're growing all the time, so it sounds kind of strange to say final step, but there's something holding you back slightly from really getting to where you, getting to the mental and emotional place you need to, to fully open up spiritually. And I'm not sure exactly what that's about, but whatever it is, I, there has to be some sort of sacrifice made in order to get there. So for some of you, it's doubts, like you're not fully on board with what you're being taught spiritually and you feel like your doubt is holding you back a little bit from fully growing. But also for some of you, I think it might be something to do with something emotional. Um, I, I feel like s some of you may be taking antidepressants or something like that. And it's not to say not to, but it could be that there's just something going on in your head uh, clouding you. It could be some other kind of medication um, or something chemical. So it could also be alcohol or something like that that would lower your vibration and hold you back from fully embracing what your guides are trying to help you access. So that's a message for some of you. If in order to get to that next step, I feel like some sort of sacrifice has to be made. And if it's not to do with some sort of chemical substance or something like that, it might have to do with someone you're associating with Sometimes we really tune into the collective, and if someone around you is doubting, you feel like they're doubting and not supporting you, then it may be time to reconsider the shape of your relationship or your relationship at all, and this could just be a friend or family member too. Okay, and also for some of you, it might not, it might not necessarily be about not being able to get to the final step in terms of fully opening up spiritually. It could also be like there is something that you need to start to believe or have faith in or trust in, uh, something that you might need to wrap your head around that would require blind faith. It's not something that seems logical um, but it's something that if you are able to wrap your head around this perspective, you feel like it could put you in a, a, a more comfortable place mentally and, and emotionally, but something's holding you back from doing that. So I don't really have any more information about what exactly that might be, but I, I feel like there is a leap of faith that needs to be taken something to lead you to the next step. And I really am feeling a lot of, there's some negative energy. Like I just feel like there's naysayers around you holding you back. And, and it might, it might not look like a spiritual thing. It might look like a job that you, you really want to take, but it seems really strange to people around you or a relationship that you want to enter into or a trip that you want to take or a project that you want to start that just seems risky to someone around you or crazy even. I'm just getting that like you're insane sounding negativity. Um, and I feel like a sacrifice might need to be made to rid yourself of some sort of negative influence. Whether it means not associating with that person or... Um, just reframing reframing things or maybe cutting off contact to a certain extent or something like that. They may be a fire sign. Um, I, I feel like the character in this Nine of Wands is embodying that a bit, and it's interesting because this, there's a lot of positive fire energy for you this month, but that particular character who feels like a fire sign 
is emanating a lot of, of negativity towards you. I'm seeing the, the clouds and the hanged man too as that person clouding your judgment. And you're an air sign, and so if you have like that, it almost looks like cloudy, smoky energy around you, it's pretty hard for you to function. As an air sign, you should work wonderfully with all of the fire that's, that's being brought to you because fire feeds off of air. But there's just this person just seems to be um, blowing some kind of clouds, smoke. It's almost like um, there's water being um, dropped onto, onto the fire and it's creating too much smoke and that's getting in the way of your air. A lot of metaphors there, but, you know, that's how tarot works, too. The flowers in the two cards at the top, um, the Four of Wands and the Sun, are really speaking to me right now. And I feel like, number one, spring is going to be a really good time for you. Something that you connect with. And the sun is really shining a lot in these two cards, too. And, of course, we have the trees and the oak leaves. And it's really prominent right now when I look at these cards. And they're also in the Nine of Wands, too, these oak leaves. So the message there is I feel a lot of um, feeling some pagan, like Wiccan energy. So that might be something that um, resonates with some of you. It may speak to something from a past life that you've had or a, a personality trait, some interest of yours. I feel like it might be nice for, for those of you, if that resonates with you, to at the very least surround yourself with some of those lovely symbolic things that come from that, that beautiful tradition. Um, so I'm not necessarily saying to practice it, and I really don't know that much about it. But I do get a lovely energy from a lot of the symbols used in that tradition. Um, and a lot of it is floral, things to do, things coming from the forest or celestial things or some of these lots of symbols that we've taken on in our society in other forms, like the wreath, for example. But it might be something that you're interested in. This might also be something that you're thinking of doing as a creative endeavor. Uh, creating something out of things that look similar to that. Your artwork, if you're an artist, might look kind of Celtic or pagan or Wiccan or something like that. And I'm really connecting with that, and I feel like it's a really positive time for that. Crystals also, I'm, I'm feeling that too. Um, so I think that's a message just to connect with some of you and also to encourage you to move forward if, if that's um, part of what creatively is inspiring you. And then the last message that I'm getting for you um, has to do with the, the Four of, of Wands and, just a second, sorry. I'm sorry, I lost what, I, I lost what was coming to me. There was the Wiccan energy and... the sun I'm sorry I don't know what the I don't know what the final message was if if it comes to me I will post it in the comments box um, for this reading so let me see if I can get anything else for you okay um, I feel like there's this 19 um, I feel like there's there's something I just have that number coming to me, and it seems like there's someone that you've met at that time, or roughly around that time, that may be coming back into your life, or it may be a child you have at that age. And when I when I heard that word spiritual home, so this is the message that was coming through, when I heard the, the, the names, the word spiritual home, I was reminded of that connection that you may have had around age 19 with someone. This person could could be the key to something or maybe someone coming back into your life or someone that you've reconnected with. 
So let me know if that resonates with anyone, and I apologize for the pause. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. If you're interested in a private reading, feel free to email me at soulsintersect at gmail.com. Thank you, Libras.